So we've had a look at playing basic quarter note figures, swung eighth note figures, and even eighth note rest, or swung eighth note rest figures on the snare, independently of the ride cymbal, hi-hat and two and four, and bass drum on all four, core pattern. What we're going to do now is get a little bit more advanced. We're going to start playing triplets on the snare drum uh, underneath this core pattern as well. Now I'm going to divide this into three different sections. The first section we're going to focus on the second and third triplet uh, on the snare drum, and that would be figures like this. So one, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, one. Okay, the second and third triplet. In the next lesson, we'll look at playing it on the first two, and then in the third lesson, we'll focus on just the middle triplet and get into some crotchet triplet exercises, so some cross phrases and phrasing over the bar line and so on. So first of all, just get used to playing um, the second and third triplet with the left hand, and you might just want to do this with quarter notes on the hi-hats. So just really slow, get it nice and even to start with. So we get three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one, two, Three, four, one. Okay. Once you can play that, put that under the jazz ride pattern and you get this. Okay, that's the basic uh, independence pattern that you're doing there. Now, once again, just like I said at the start with the quarter note exercises, it's not like you play that the whole way through the beat. This is just an, an idea that you might play once every three or four bars. You might be playing... You might only do it that often, you know, and that's fine. It's not like you have to take uh, these exercises as literal beats and play them the whole way through a piece of music. That's that's not the idea here. Okay, so let's now play a couple of different variations. What I'll do is I'll play quarter notes on beats one and two, and I'll play the, the second and third triplets of beats three and four. I'll just throw a few variations at you, and then we'll have a look at some easy beats. So that would be like this. One, two, three, four. So that would be using quarter notes with broken up triplets, second and third triplets. Let's now do the same thing with the first two beats being swung eighth notes and the second and third beats being the uh, second and third triplet of each beat. We'd get this. One, two, three, four. You might notice when I was playing either beats one or two as eighth notes, or the second and third triplets of beats three and four, that I'm playing an ever so slight accent on um, probably the, the, the swung eighth note of beat two, uh, and it turns it into more of a phrase, rather than all being the same volume going. If you put a bit of an accent on beat one, and then a bit of an accent on beat two and, you get ba ba do ba you get like. Okay, so it's not all soft. And it's not, it's not all loud either. You're getting that phrase where you're getting ba, ba, do, ba. And in the triplets, in the second and third triplets, I'm actually leaning slightly more towards the third triplet. Okay, so I'm getting like one, two, and three, da, ba. They're not all the same volume going. Okay, now they're both valid, but it just helps swing things along a little bit more, I think, if you're putting uh, naturally felt accents on these swung eighth notes. So, if I was just to play all triplets, instead of it being... If you put a bit of an accent, and you get... Okay, it helps swing things along a little bit there. So that last exercise, beats one and two as eighth notes, swung eighth notes, and this uh, beats three and four is triplets. That's combining swung eights and triplets. The previous exercise was quarter notes and triplets.